Hi guys, welcome back. This will be my six month update for no retwisting and um, how I did my pipe cleaner curls. And excuse some of the clips in this video, they are from a 24 hour vlog that I did on my vlog channel, showing you guys 24 hours of my life, a little bit of what I do. I teach English, I do hair, etc, etc. So check it out if you want to see that part of my life. Um, but this is about my hair, so let's get back to it. This is my hair before I washed it. It's um, pretty dry because I didn't really moisturize as I should um, this month, but it's not as bad as it could be. So um, this is what it looks like after I've washed it. So yeah, this is what it's looking like after washing. It's still damp right here. So here's a mini length check of where my hair is. And keep in mind, I am pretty tall. I'm 5'11". So if I was shorter, my hair would look much longer than it looks right now. But it's all good show you guys a little bit of how I do it a lot of people don't do this step because I guess you're not supposed to but I do it because I don't like the pipe I don't want the pipe cleaners to poke me in the head when I'm sleeping so first thing I do is I um <clears throat> I fold the pipe cleaner over and at first I started doing it where my new growth met my lock but then I changed it to starting closer to my roots it look I figured it would look better that way I just go all the way down the pipe cleaner and my ends have always been the thickest I don't know if that's because I started with two strand twist or not and as you can see I I um, scrunched the lock back up because um, to make the curls tighter but yeah I don't know if it's because I started with two strand twist but my ends have always been the thickest and the hardest to manipulate when it comes to curling or braiding anything they've always just been really stubborn so for that, because of that reason, I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around um, the area where the ends of my locks are curled and then wrap it back down. And it ends up looking like that. In the end, I'll probably wrap, wrap the rest back up or cut it. So I'm going to show you guys again how I started to do it. I change after this, but I fold it over my, where my new growth meets my lock, my locked area, and then... I just start rolling, not rolling, but um, spiraling my hair around the pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner, making sure it stays stationary and it's not moving, it's not rolling with my hair, but it's staying in one spot, staying very still, while my hair just maneuvers around it. Once again, I'm going to wrap the pipe cleaner around my stubborn ends and wrap it back down. I took, you might want to, if you want to do this, you might want to do it while you're doing something. I took the liberty of doing it while I was um, taking my online class. That way um, I didn't waste time because this is pretty tedious, especially if you have a lot of locks. I have 68 locks and it was still tedious for me. Imagine if you have 100, 150, 200 locks. It, it's very tedious. So I recommend doing something fun, watching a movie, um, studying something while you do this. Not just sit there and do pipe cleaners. I mean, you can, but I like to be productive with my time. So yeah, that's what I did. This is another clip from the 24-hour vlog. Alright, I was almost done here. I had one more lock left to show you guys once again how I did it. And I, like I told you guys in the beginning, I didn't stick with the method of starting where my new growth met the lock. I changed it up and went, um, and went to my, closer to my roots, as I'm going to show you here. I didn't go, I didn't go really at the root, but just close enough to the root to where it would look more seamless for the curls. Once again, I 
um, kind of clamp the pipe cleaner and then I start wrapping and this is to prevent the pipe cleaner um, the little wire that's in there from poking me in the head because I did this style when I was one year locked and the pipe cleaner just poked me in the scalp and I didn't like that I'll insert a picture of what that looked like because I think it'll be interesting to see <laughs> to see the difference between one year locked and six year locked um, for pipe cleaners so I'm gonna find a picture and I'm gonna insert it when I show you guys the result and that's my little baby Zaire trying to help me do my hair all right so this is the finished product just showing you guys my edges as if you've been watching these updates you know I have postpartum shedding around the perimeter perimeter of my hair if you have not seen the previous videos I have a video for every month not retwisting so you can go back and watch month one month two month three month four month five all the way up to month six to see the progress I and here all I did was I kind of manipulated the pipe cleaners to make it look cuter you know it was looking a little crazy This is me just taking it down. Alright, this is the finished product, the results of the pipe cleaners. I loved it. You guys know I'm always looking for some type of volume because I have thin hair naturally. And I like that it wasn't so, um, so like Shirley Temple-ish. Maybe because my hair is longer now. Alright, so this is a throwback of my first pipe cleaner curls ever on my one to two year locks. And this is two weeks after um, my pipe cleaner curls. They are still looking really bouncy and curly. I was hoping they would have dropped a whole lot more by now, but they haven't. So that is that. Um, the last few days I just added some lock jewelry to them so I can enjoy the curls because I was getting ready to wash them out. My scalp was really itchy and I I suspected that was due to dryness so I had to wash them out but I enjoyed them by adding a little lock jewelry, made some lock jewelry. Um, I love little dragonflies and winged insects and um, bees and all of that so I, I made it out of those charms and just put it on to my curls. Um, if you guys would like any custom made lock jewelry you can email me and if you have any inquiries dealing with bonnets my bonnet was a Haitian flag bonnet that you've seen throughout this video you can also email me about that too my email can be found in the info section or about section of my channel the next day when I washed my hair out which is a few days after the two week the two week clips I did a hot oil treatment because my scalp was itchy. This is Mr. Zaid, by the way. Um, my scalp was itchy, and after the after the hot oil treatment, my scalp felt brand new. It felt amazing, no itch, very moisturized, ready to go. This is what it looked like after. 
And these are a few pictures of my hair in the last days of having pipe cleaner curls. Um, I tried to enjoy them a little bit because I didn't keep them in as long as I would have wanted to, but I just wash every two weeks, so I really could not go past two weeks. And these are a few pictures of my hair after the hot oil treatment. And that is all for this update guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you have not seen the previous one through month one through five, go back and watch that to appreciate the progress in this update. Thank you again. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.